Welcome back to Stranger's Wrath, where we're about to hop a fence and engage with the enemy. The enemy, of course, being a bunch of outlaws with strange top hats. So, we got, uh, yeah, I got boom bats at the ready. Uh, lots of exploding barrels in this area, so we'll definitely use those to our advantage as I get hit by mortars. Okay, and yeah, those should be instant kills for the most part. Beautiful. Uh, yep, there's another one. Boom bats on these guys. And look at this little stash in here. Look at all these treasure chests. Up. Break. Oh, he's still alive. No, not anymore. Alright, 3500 moolah. And the boom bats are very excited. That's okay. Full on the sting bees, so I won't even worry about those. And that looks like everyone's dead around here, so. <clears throat> Move on to the next area. Uh, let's see, it looks like this way. Yes, and hop over these crates and whatnot. If possible, yes. And, yeah, checkpoints. Fuzzles, I think I'm pretty much full on everything at this point. Let's see if I can bring this guy over here. No, he's not. He's not chasing me. Uh, let's see what do I want here. I'll leave the boom bats on for a little while. I might use them again. Suck this guy up. And let's see if I can do this. Beautiful. And see that side angle shot? That was pretty nice. guy out. Gotta capture a few of them alive. Can't have them all dead. But at this point in the game it's uh becomes a lot more difficult to capture enemies alive, so I'm willing to let a few of them slide. Okay, that's just ammo. Alright, we're good. We're good. Go up here. Lots of ammo around here, too. Now, I've yet to see enemies shoot at the uh, explosive barrels, so I don't know if they just don't do that or what, but it doesn't seem like they do. they drop and then you capture them dead, it's basically like the same as taking them in alive. Maybe a little less of that. Full sting bees, I don't need those. Alright. Oh, sniper up there. Uh, well, this would be a good time to use the sting bees then. He's really far away. As you should know, the sting bees are homing, so. There we go. 
heal up. Okay, we got a big guy coming at us. Uh, let's see if I can... Ah, oh, dang it. Knock him out. 25 only. all his moolah up there, which is unfortunate. I'm actually going to go back and reload on those sting bees, because used up quite a few there. Oh, God. I wasn't sure if I could make that jump or not. There's a guy down here. I don't know where he came from. Let's go take him out. Where'd he go? Whoa. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't not sure what happened there. Dang it, now I gotta go all the way back up there. Whenever I'm playing these games, uh you know, on recording, I'm always, like, thinking about, uh, what would be the speedrun strats for these games, like, like, Echo, I kept thinking about that. I was wondering, actually, if there was a speedrun of Echo, Defender of the Future, and it turns out there is. Okay, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Came all the way to capture him, and then he just killed himself. Uh, yeah, there is apparently a guy on Twitch who was speedrunning Echo and I was like, are you serious? And there's all these like weird glitches where you just skip entire parts of the levels and I'm like, wish I had known that. Could have skipped, well, I wouldn't have skipped the worst of the game, but a few of the bad parts. So I wonder if this game has similar glitches and whatnot, although there's nothing really, nothing in this game that's really egregiously bad, so. Uh, okay, let's go this way. But I always wonder what you know. What would what would a speedrunner do? Are you supposed to like jump constantly? Is that make you go slightly faster? I don't know. Skin bees. I'm full on those. Full on puzzles. I give you a ton of puzzles. Like I don't. I can't imagine using them that much. They're not really that effective. Keep looking for the loot. It's gotta be around here somewhere. And there's Eugenius. Hey, you can't keep me locked up in here. That's just uncivilized. Ah, stick a sock in it. And he doesn't sound any more intelligent than the normal clackers, so. Hey, what was that? How do I approach this? I guess just guns blazing as usual. Uh, boom bats. Pressing clusters of enemies. Need to heal badly. coming after me. Come on, heal. You have to be like totally still to start healing, which is annoying. Alright. Just gonna start blowing these guys up. I don't even care. Especially that guy. And switch now. Uh-oh. Oh! Two out, two blood slugs that knock him out. At least I captured one alive. In the midst of slaughtering all of the others. Alright, let's go up here. It's time to go to the second floor. Uh, yeah, this guy 
guys are irritating for stupid rocket launchers. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I can just jump across, probably, right? This guy's not even paying attention. It's lucky I shot that zap fly early. And I see one more. Way down yonder. Okay, I'm gonna have to go kill that guy. Hopefully that doesn't kill him. He's already got two red stars. Okay, that should be everyone. Oh, cutscene. Ain't nobody gets away. Ain't nobody gets away. So we rescued Eugenius. Doesn't that thing look familiar? Yeah, it's time for some uh, radical excavation. That thing's called the Steef. Steef is a sort of horse like animal in the Odd World universe. Looks like the way out. Yeah, yeah, you better watch your step. You wouldn't want to, uh. fall. Oh, oops. Well, I'm gonna stay on and finish my work now that the outlaws are gone. I'll see you back in town. So, that was interesting enough, and uh, now we're in these underground temple catacombs. Sort of ancient Egypt-ish. Yeah, that was interesting. Sudden collapse of the bricks. Takes us back out to the canyon. Low stamina. And... Yeah, they frighten easily. I don't know what you call those things, I forget. Those are the natives, I guess? I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not... Really super well versed in the odd world lore. I did play uh, Munch's Odyssey very briefly. Well, because there was a demo on the, on the original Xbox. Um, I think it was with Halo, actually. Halo 1. There was a, a demo that you could play. That, oh, God. I just totally got eaten up there. Uh, yeah, you could play like Munch's Odyssey for like a like one stage or something on there. And that was the only time I really played that. Played any Odd World stuff until this game came out, which I always thought, you know, when I'd seen previews and stuff, it looked cool. I like the Wild West uh, atmosphere and all that. And back then I used to buy a ton of games, like literally any new game that came out that I thought looked interesting at all, I would, <laughs> I would just buy it like day one. And uh, so I ended up having lots of Xbox games, a number of which I traded in unfortunately, but This one I always saved, because it's one of the better ones. Uh, let's see, we want to go to the bounty store. I thought I was in a different part of the town there for a second. 
as I crash through their fences and whatnot. Okay, bounty store. Or is this the general store? Oh, it's a bounty store. Alright. Cashing out bounties. 1,000 smackaroonies. 1631 total. It's not, not too bad. So we're up to over... 5,000 now, which is pretty good. 25% of the way there. And we got another bounty available. Meagly McGraw. Or is it Meagly? I guess it's Meagly. I, I, I don't know. 900 alive, 300 dead. Oh, Meagly likes them apples. I heard he's been seen at the farm right before town. The bounty is Meagly McGraw. Meagly McGraw. Hold up in the storage room of the farmhouse. Counting his loot. Mm. You're gonna have to find a way into the house, then take him out. You know, it won't be easy with all the outlaws he's got hold up in the house with him. Yeah, won't be easy. Well, we're not just anybody. We're stranger. It's interesting how the uh, clackers will talk about you as you walk around. Uh, okay, upgrades. Let's see. Yeah, we're not buying that. Not buying that. Fuzzle loader. Uh, it's only 250 I guess I'll go ahead and buy that. Uh, stamina regenerator small. Yeah, I would think that would be pretty useful. And looks like that's it. That's all the useful stuff. Alright, so Mealy McGraw. Meagly McGraw. Uh, farm pass. So, yeah, we need to go back to that farm that we stole all the money from, pretending to be the bodyguard. Which is over this way. Just smash right through the cactuses. It's not even a big deal. Alright. Yeah, you can see the destruction already. This little farmhouse is set ablaze. Dead clackers all over the place. I guess he never got to uh, sleep with Susie Ray or whatever. Never got to pluck her feathers, as he was saying earlier. Now, don't none of you idiots let no one on the farm, you hear me? Ain't that a double negative? <laughs> I heard that! Don't none of you, whatever, let nobody on the farm. That's like a triple negative. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna want chipmunks for this part. And yeah, remember this crushing thing? We're gonna try to utilize it. So there's a lot of guards around here. There's one smashed into mincemeat. And I've been spotted. Well, that's... One's better than none. Uh-oh. I shoot my zap flies. Efficiency. Oh, come on. I got all the way there. Be more careful, brother, he says. Uh, what can I do here? Stunks, that might be useful. Heal up quickly. Quickly, get out. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of guys around here. As you can see, as they stomp on my stiff dead corpse. Uh, yeah, we will try again uh, next time, I think, though. So we're getting up to time, so I'll see you then, and we'll take out Meagly McGraw. Thanks. Bye.